the swagman's rest band Joe Patterson, Andrew Barton, we buried old Bob where the bloodwoods wave at the foot of the Igly Hawk. We fashioned a cross on the old man's grave for fear that his ghost might walk. We carved his name on a bloodwood tree with the date of his sad decease and in place of an quo. Died from effects of spree and quo. We wrote in quo. May he rest in peace and quo. For Bob was known on the overland, a regular old bush wag, tramping along in the dust and sand, humping his well-worn swag. He would camp for days in the riverbed, and loiter in and quo. Fish for whales and quo. Ampers and quo. I'm into the swagman's yard, ampers and quo. He said. Ampers and quo. And I never shall find the rails. Ampers and quo. But he found the rails on that summer night for a better place or worse, as we watched by turns in the flickering light with an old black gin for nurse. The breeze came in with the scent of pine, the river sounded clear, when a change came on, and we saw the sign that told us the end was near. He spoke in a cultured voice and lo, Ampers and Quo. I fancy they've sent the route. I once was an army man, you know, though now I'm a drunken brute. But bury me out where the bloodwoods wave, and, if ever you're fairly stuck, just take and shovel me out of the grave and, maybe, I'll bring you luck. Ampers and quo. For I've always heard, Ampers and quo. Here his voice grew weak, his strength was well nigh sped, he gasped and struggled and tried to speak, then fell in a moment, dead. Thus ended a wasted life and hard, of energies misapplied, old Bob was out of the end quo. Swagman's yard and quo. And over the great divide. Asterisk, 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 the drought came down on the field in flock, and never a raindrop fell, though the tortured moans of the starving stock might soften a fiend from hell. And we thought of the hint that this wagman gave when he went to the great unseen, we shoveled the skeleton out of the grave to see what his hint might mean. We dug where the cross and the grave posts were, we shoveled away the mold, when sudden a vein of quartz lay bare all gleaming with yellow gold. T'was a reef with never a fault nor balk that ran from the range's crest, and the richest mine on the Igly Hoke is known as an quo. The Swagman's Rest and Quo.